Hello Rush fans, it's your General Manager Joe Ferris. We have put together a four and a half minute video we urge you to watch here. We're very excited to be the first team in the ECHL to put all their season tickets on the season ticket card. On the card, you'll see your account number and your seat location. Please watch the video in its entirety. We want to make this process very seamless and then we'll get back to you after the video. All right, so the first step is to go to gotmine.com, G-O-T-M-I-N-E.com. From here, you're going to go to the click here button that's right next to get tickets now. When you click that, it'll bring you to here. Go on the blue ribbon, press sign in. Once you're here, if you have an account, you'll be able to uh, log in there. If not, go down and press register now. From here, you have to enter all the information that has a star next to it. Uh, once you get all this information here filled out, both the mailing address and under your information, scroll on down to the bottom, go ahead and press save, and this will create your account. Uh, the next step is to link your account. This is how we attach your tickets to your account. This is where you're going to have to call into the Rush office. Uh, your customer number is on your card the card that we handed you, but this online pin is something that you will have to get from the Rush office. So call us and when you get it, go ahead and enter it and then press activate. Once you do this, all of your tickets will be on your account. And then scroll on down to the bottom if all your information is correct and hit next. So now your account will be completely created. Uh, now to be able to transfer tickets, go ahead and go back to the click here by get tickets now. Back to sign in on that blue ribbon. And this is when you will be able to go ahead, enter your email. Uh, do not use your account number. It is best to use your email. Uh, go ahead and enter that in. And then once this is entered in, go ahead and enter in your password that you created while uh, making your account. and then you can go ahead and sign in. This will be the main landing page for your account. Um, from here, uh, you can go to My Account on the blue ribbon again. And this is where uh, you will be able to go ahead and hit Transfer to be able to transfer tickets to another person. From this screen, you wanna pick the game that you wanna transfer tickets for. You can pick multiple games, for this example, we'll just pick one. Once you've selected all the games you need, go to the bottom and press next. On the next screen, all of your seats that you have for those games will pop up. Uh, go ahead and select which seats you want to transfer. And then you're going to have to enter the information uh, of the person that you want to transfer the tickets to. The phone is optional, but you will need to enter an email address. Uh, this is how they're going to receive the tickets. So once all this information is entered, go ahead and press next. It is cap sensitive, so you'll want to make sure that even the, uh, the capital letters are the same in the two lines. Then go ahead and press next. You'll want to confirm the information. This will show all of the uh, tickets that you want to transfer because once you transfer your tickets, it is final, so make sure that it is correct. Go ahead and press Yes, Make Transfer. Once you press Yes, Transfer, it will send you to, uh, or it'll send an email to the person that received the, the tickets. On that email, there'll be a link. Go ahead and press the link, and it will take you to this screen. In this bar here, you're gonna wanna enter the email address of the person that received the tickets, and you wanna use the same email that he received the tickets for. Once you uh, press accept, it'll take you here, and that person receiving the tickets will have to create an account if they don't have one already. Uh, it's just the same, go ahead and press register now, fill out the information, and then once the account's created, just enter, uh, enter the account just like your own. So once you go ahead and enter the, uh, the email as well as the password, uh, you'll wanna just press next. Uh, as far as storing your password for sites, it's Probably not a good idea here because all of your tickets uh, are on there and you want to keep all this information very safe. So once you enter in and uh, you uh, sign in, it'll take you to this screen. 
Uh, it'll pretend like you're buying a ticket, but you're actually just accepting the transfer. So go ahead and press checkout on the right, but you will have to select a, um, a delivery method. Print at home is uh, a way that you'll be able to just print the tickets. Once you come to this screen, make sure the information is correct, and then go ahead and press process your order. This could take a while, but do not press refresh or else it might lose your ticket. So just give it a little time and it'll uh, do all the work for you. Once you come to this screen, uh, this will confirm that the ticket was transferred. Uh, it'll, give you, um, it'll give you all the information that you're going to need and tell you the, uh, the seats and the game that was transferred. Uh, go ahead and um, from this point, you will receive, the recipient will receive another email. He'll want to open that email and that email will actually have an attachment on it and that attachment is the ticket. You can either print that ticket out and you can bring it to uh, the rink or what you could even do is just open the email when you're at the rink and um, just zoom in on the barcode and they can actually scan the barcode directly on the phone. Well, season ticket holders, I hope that answered a lot of the questions. We want this transfer of tickets to be a very seamless process. If at this time or in the future you have any questions, please feel free to call the Rap City Rush office and we'll help you in this manner any way possible. Let's have a great season and bring the Kelly Cup to Rapid City.